el chisme. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get rock on those days. If you're new here, guys, make sure to subscribe button because I bring you the daily cheese man on the daily. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but you guys understand. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be getting into this whole Maria Estella opening up a OnlyFans and also. I was called out again for no damn reason, but let's talk about it, guys. Before we get into it, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back, and relax. So for our first story of the day, we're going to be talking about Maria Stella because if you guys don't know, this happened over the weekend. All right, guys, so I finally made an OnlyFans. Y'all have been requesting this so much. I'm actually really excited. I finally grew balls to just say, fuck it, I'm making one, and I did. So make sure to subscribe for free right now, guys subscribe right here yes guys could you believe it she opened an only fence and i know some of you guys have your thoughts on this and i know you guys wanted to get my opinion and to be honest guys i really don't care right now i don't care what maria does with herself but a lot of people are like yo how how could she do this she's a mom blah 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 there's a lot of moms doing this nowadays and if it's gonna make you hundreds of thousands of dollars a month yo go for it you have the body do whatever you want with your own body but also a lot of people were concerned because Bo is actually promoting it yes he was promoting it on his instagram story and people were like yo how is he promoting this like what pimping out his wife what no that's not the case i don't think it's a little pimping out situation um the only fans is free but of course everything that's free you know there's a little charge to it but uh yeah she finally opened it apparently a lot of people were asking her to open one for a while and i was like hmm i know i didn't ask who was asking but i don't know i don't know what's the dealio what's going on yes people were speculating yo the views are down <clears throat> me myself guys there's a lot of speculation of why maria estella opened only fans but i don't know i guess if people wanted her to open only fans she finally did it good for y'all you know she she has a guts now you know she opened it for all of you guys so make sure to go check it out i guess it's free i don't know like i said there, there might be a secret charge or a secret thing to this i don't know guys but as always i do want to get your opinions because trust me a lot of you guys uh, mostly women had opinions on this situation so yeah let me know down below before we do continue with the video i do want to say thank you kulichi munchies for sponsoring today's video so if you guys haven't heard about Kulichi Munchies, guys, Kulichi Munchies is one of my top, or not even my one of my top, is my top candy of choice. They recently just came out with these little tamarindo balls, and let me tell you, bro, these are hella fire. Like, if you have, I always say this, if you have a nice cold Coke in your refrigerator, you take it out, drink it with these candies. They're the best. Mmm. So damn good. Also, we can't forget about... These are one of the spiciest, spiciest lollipops I've ever had in my life. I'm not even playing with y'all. You could even see the powder, how red these are, guys. Look at how red. Bro, basically, it's a rocaleta covered in a lot of chile, like spicy, spicy chile. One of their top spices. Guys, when I tell you these are spicy, they're spicy. And bro, my mouth is watering right now. <laughs> But if you guys want to try any of these two items out, make sure to go to kulichimunchies.com. Use the code THECHEESEMAYREPORT to save some moolah because we all love to save some money, guys. Who doesn't? Like, honestly. I also have manguitos that are to die for. I'm not lying. To die for. And one other thing. My top that I just finished uh, last week were the cacahuates, guys. Those cacahuates with a nice beer. Bro, hell of fire. But make sure to go check out kulichimunchies.com. Use the code thecheesemayreport to save some money off. And now let's continue with the video. So for our second story of the day, guys, we're going to be talking about this, you know, drama going on with a story, a, a really serious story, the whole Andrea McRae and Marvon situation. Um, I don't know why I was brought into this. Like, bro, what? What? So if you guys missed it, this is what happened. I was literally called out. Just stop. I don't yes. I I can't stand this dude. He he's a clickbaiter. He doesn't tell stories the right way. He I gave him a chance. No go with me. He wants to see everything as well. This is what I heard about Molly Golightly. So let's just attack Molly Golightly. Yeah. No one absolutely not. Yeah, that that's guy? the one that was clickbaiting. Doesn't know anything about anything, and then leaves the most important stuff out. People like that, I give no credit to. 
Dude, you're shot. You'll go nowhere. You'll go nowhere pulling shit like that. Remember, a lot of these people, and I'm telling all of you, a lot of these people that start channels, a lot of them think that you're stupid. Remember that. And they want you to think the way they think. Fuck out of here. Uh, they, I, I always sit, feel like there's uh, 724 in here and they each have a mind and they can use it. You know, I think her business partner could sure shed a lot. Oh, I agree. But so I just wanted to update you guys. I'm not going to entertain it because because Marvon's story is more important right now. I don't know why this lady wants to start drama with every creator that talks about this story guys i don't know but like i said i'm gonna keep my mouth shut because because von's story is more important in this situation but i know i know some of you guys want me to speak about it but i probably won't right now guys i won't i want to respect my von's family and the whole thing going on um but, but maybe after things calm down i don't know something happens i'll i'll let y'all know but guys that's gonna be the end of the cheese report hopefully you guys did enjoy it and if you guys did leave a like subscribe if you haven't do all that good stuff guys and also if you have any video suggestions please let me know down below but other than that my name is danny and i'm out peace